And we're back, folks. Yeah, let's just try Perk Danny up here, shall we? All our loving is what we'll be bringing. I got my... Ooh, tuned out. Yeah, this should maybe at least get him out of its funk. Let's see what we got in here. Oh yeah, there's. Do I really look like that? Well, yeah, kinda. Although, hey, <laughs> whatever, I like it. But smiles were made, dear, for people like Danny, us. You. In the winter, trust me, things will get summer, better. Just keep listening to the music. Yeah. What? Times are bumping, None of the words help bummer. anymore. <laughs> ah, crap. I don't think there's anything in the speakeasy there's that can turn this sure guy around right now. Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. In the meantime, in Marty, the stop meantime, saying that. We got fun. Hmm. Look who just made the wall of fame. I always wanted to be famous. Yeah. Not a pretty bunch. Well, uh, now you're saying about yourself. <laughs> hey, kitty, what's up? Hey. Nice suit. Where'd you get it? Costume shop at the mall. Uh, custom I, I made. Had it custom made. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Quality material. Thank you. Who are you? Where are you from? Name's uh, Harry Callahan. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm just a guy passing by here. Nobody. Yeah. I mean, you don't know me. I, I come from a, a very different place. Come yeah, on. I just had What's the dope? Spill it or I'll go easy, kid. From the cut of the suit, I'm thinking he might be with the Valenti gang. Is that so? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, see? Uh, yes? Prove it. You ain't leaving till you show me some bona fides. Uh, some bona fide evidence, but whatever. All right. If you want evidence, fine. Right in the face. I've got a little something here that might convince you. Don't even blink. Oh... Right. It's not a real gun. It's not a real gun, I swear. It's, yeah, it's, it's a gift from Don Valenti. See? Yeah, see? See? To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. Looks yep. like little Harry Callahan here really is with the Sacramento boys. You yeah, got stones, see? Pee Wee. I like that. Have yourself a drink. On the house. Matches. Put down your gun. You look like a moron. As opposed to... <sighs> yeah, down, boy. Down. <laughs> Oh, by the way. I'm not Dang. pulling that thing out in here again unless it's a life or death situation. Even then, it's just like a little lighter. <laughs> so, Matches, how hey. you doing? Take a hike, Squirt. Oh, yeah. You're, you're trying to talk to, that way to somebody who's with Valenti? I mean, no respect around here. No respect, no respect at all. So, Tannen, you got yourself a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice place around here. I well, we could use a little bit of lightning, but the uh, <laughs> I was hey, pretty sure the boots would be enough for light. So, anyways, about your little bitch. How long have you and Trixie been going out? You mean knocking boots? Oh yeah. About a year now. That's hmm. a long time. Good for you. Tell me about it. I keep meaning to dump her for a newer model, but then she starts singing at me, and I remember why we got together in the first place. Love? No. Free nightclub entertainment. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Actually, right. That does sound like a pretty good idea. <laughs> It's good to see you doing so well. The boys down in Sacramento were starting to get worried. With all due respect, the boys down in Sacramento can bite me. When that creepy Sagan guy burned down my speakeasy, did the Sacramento boys lift a finger to help me back on my feet? No. Well, and when that weasel accountant McFly hmm. went and blabbed to the feds, did the Sacramento boys help me get rid of the evidence? No. But... Oh, come on, you're a big boy. You can take care of yourself. Pulled that one off. Okay, but... But nothing. When you get back to Sacramento, you let J.J. Valenti know that Kid Tannen expects a little more respect for his efforts in the future. Understand? No problem, kid. Well, excuse me for thinking that, uh, well, excuse me and, uh, the Don Valenti for thinking that, you know, the big fat Kid Tannen can go and take care of one little speakeasy, one little gin joint, and not get, uh, get it burned down by some bug. <laughs> Honestly, you're gonna give me grief. <laughs> 
Anyways, uh, about this. Uh, anyways, about this. Uh, about this little, uh, little moonshine distillery here. It's a nice place you got here, ain't it? I picked out all the statuary myself when I was traveling through Greece. I can tell. It's got that tan and touch. Thanks. Let's see. Cheap, tacky, and uh, yep, that's tan, all right. What's that Wall of Fame all about? That, my tiny friend, is where I pay tribute to fallen foes. Cut short in the prime of life before I had a chance to cut it short myself. They're the guys you've whacked. Whacked? Uh, rubbed out. Not in Ooh. any legally actionable sense, no. Of course. Whacked. <laughs> I like that. Uh, yeah, I knew you'd like whacking it. <laughs> uh, you could keep it. See ya, kid. Yeah, whatever. Right, right. Real cheery bunch. Uh, I've seen more lately folks awake. Anyways, about these guys. Hey, you! Are you talking to me? Yeah, jerk. I saw you making eyes at my Eunice. Oh, Lily. Oh, Lily, are you? He's kind of cute. You think you can just waltz in here and make a play for another fella's girl? Uh, hey, look, uh, look here, buck boy. I, uh, I, I got no problem with you. Uh, but hey, if you want to fight you want, then uh, it's a fight I'm going to break. Give me a break. She's not my era. Ow, now wrong you choice. Insult her? I ought to paste you one right on the. Let him go, Ernie. Jeez, you're a mean drunk. You're doing it again. You're trying to steal my girl, ain't you? Alright, yeah, yeah. What you gonna do about it, huh? Maybe. What are you gonna do about it, chicken? That's <laughs> it. Yeah, she's on your foot. Swing and a miss. Regular baby. Looks like you need to cool off for a few. Yeah, a real nice doorman here. Um, uh, <laughs> right. Oh, that accomplished a lot. Excuse me. Are you Trixie Trotter? Why, That's no what one. it says on my dressing room door. At least it would if I had a dressing room. Huh. Hey, uh, about um, hey, about this Wall of Fame. Here. Hey, it looks like they've put a new picture on the Wall of Fame. Oh, jeez, kid, who'd you bump off this time? Who's that supposed to be, Mickey Rooney? Hmm. I don't think so. Um. Yeah, number one star. Yeah, in the world. Pow! Right in the world. What's a nice guy like you doing with a guy like Tannen? Oh, kid ain't so bad. He just takes some. Hey, Toots. Any chance you could sing that Can Can number? The guys really love the way it shows off your uh, assets. Sounds like a real gentleman. Whatever you say, kid. <laughs> and quit lazing around. I ain't paying you to yak with the drunks. What, did you forget I was with the Sacramento man? You paying me at all, you bum. What were we talking about again? Uh, let's see. About, again, you and uh, Mr. Personality over you there. You're telling me what a great guy kid is. Yeah, I guess he is a pretty crummy boyfriend. But until my insurance policy checks out, I guess I'm stuck with him. Insurance? Huh? Yeah. Look, I may not be the brightest bulb in the marquee, but even I know. You don't break up with a creep like kid without something to keep him from going all crazy on you. Smart move. Anyways, about this policy. What's here. this insurance policy all about? Are you kidding? There's only one person I trust with my secrets. But I ain't seen him in weeks. You don't mean Artie McFly. Artie, Artie. McFly. You know him? Not as well as I thought. Before Apparently he took not. a powder, Artie was tutoring me in all sorts of stuff. Etiquette, philosophy, accountant. He's a regular renaissance man. Renaissance! He even had one of those smart guy professor's pipes, see? Can I borrow this? Sure. Huh. I've been secretly working on my get-out-of-kid card for weeks now. But Artie's the only one I trust to check my work. You can't be too careful when you're dealing with a maniac like Kid, you know? Yeah, I hear ya. Well, look, I can find him for you. Hey, if I arrange a meeting with Artie, could you use that insurance of yours? Use it? Heck, if what I'm sitting on pans out, I could send that bozo all the way to the big house. Sweet. I'll see what I can do. Well, 
Hey, you can trust me. Come on, what's the dirt you got on Kid? Yeah. Mix on that. I ain't spilling nothing till I talk with all the Mc... Oh, F-L-Y. R-I-G-H-T. Got it. Hey, it looks like they've put a new picture on... <laughs> oh, now it's Scuff. Who said supposed to... I don't... I'm trying to do that with repeated dialogue for, like, for as long as I've been playing this. I really like your voice. Thanks. You should hear me when I ain't so under the weather. Hey, you're, you're sick? Cool. Oh, yeah. Sore throat. That's why I'm giving Q-Ball so many extended solos tonight. Yeah, fair enough. I kind of wondered about that. Hmm. Uh, do you take requests? You know, Sister Christian? I don't do religious tunes. Good. But, uh, Sister Christian... I'll have to look that one up later. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, wait. Do, do you do Devil Went On Down to Georgia? Hey, your song seemed to have a big effect on Officer Parker over there. I am humbled and gratified that my musical gifts have fallen upon such receptive ears. Everyone! <laughs> Something to try out the voices! I did my best! I did my best! I don't care. What are those? Are they lyrics for one of your songs? I haven't memorized them yet. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Still working on those I don't care lyrics? What can I say? Memorizing ain't my strong suit. Yeah, I hear ya. Got a bad short-term memory myself. Break a leg out there. Thanks. She's supposed to turn on Kid Tana tonight? Okay, Doc. If you say so. Well... <sighs> Better get started. Let's see here. All right, well, easy enough to find Artie. Grandpa Artie's pipe. You know, I could barely remember Grandpa from when I was a kid, but this smells like him. Heavy. Yeah. No, it's actually quite light. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Hey. Take a hike, squirt. No respect. No respect at all. Hey, what? Let's see here. Hey, look, a paying customer. All right, I got a new request for you. Give me one of the schmucko. You think you could draw a picture of this guy? Oh, God, sure. the picture keeps changing. Hey, what is going that on that looks here? like that Artie McFly think. Hmm, oh, I never noticed it? that before. Hey, uh, can you give him a hat like Artie wears? Should I come back for it? Suit yourself. All right. Oh, yeah. That's some good work. Alright, yeah. All I gotta do is just have Trixie think that, uh, that kid went bumped off already, and she'll be ready to sing like a canary. Aha! He's back! Huh. Serendipity. All right, first things first. Hey, yeah, no, I think I found, uh, I think I found someone that can actually make your caterwauling into something actually tolerable. Edna, what? Let's see. Do you think I could have a copy of your You Should Care lyrics? I've, uh, got a club of my own that could really use some inspiring. Sure, let me just get a page out of the hymnal. There you are. Thank hey, you. Thanks. This up. Oh yeah, about Trixie's song. You know, Trixie Trotter sings a song that sounds a lot like your You Should Care. She does? Yeah, but yeah. hers is a little more carefree. That's Bouncy. what you get when you sing for booze hounds and gangsters. Oh yeah, how dare music actually be, you know, fun. <laughs> Couldn't Kid be brought up on other charges like, say, running a speakeasy? In oh god, we already went through yes. this. But no one in town seems to care about prohibition anymore. The feds are only interested because of the lost tax revenue. See ya. Keep fighting the good fight. Alright, anyways. First things first. Gotta track down Artie. Edna can't carry a tune, but these lyrics are motivational dynamite. Yep. Hey, Ainy! Let's go and track down Artie. Hey, boy. Take away for this. Let's hope he doesn't get lung